Libra, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we are going to pull some messages that are gonna help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing at this time. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He's over at 70 Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We're going to be pulling a final message from your angels and your unicorn. Let's dive right in. This is a fun one. And right now you're in a time of ascension, meaning that beautiful soul, you have to prioritize what you are letting into your awareness, what you are letting into your physical world and into your mind. Because right now it is time for you to focus, focus, focus on what it is that you are looking for in your life. That means you first got to connect to the intention you've set or the feeling state of how you want your lifestyle to feel like, okay? And this means, you know, like, like how, uh, how, how what, what kind of things are you connected to, drawn to? Are you drawn to a nice house? Are you drawn to a boat? Are you drawn to, and these are materialistic things, that's fine, we're allowed to want things. That's totally fine, that's what we're here for, is to experience, right? Are you drawn to a lifestyle where you have, you know, a family that you guys, you know, go and do stuff, camping and all kinds of fun stuff, so you have the, 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 the time and space to do that, the financial freedom to do that, you know what I mean, maybe passive income. You know, what kind of lifestyle are you looking to have? because that is gonna indicate your actions of today, but that does mean that you are gonna to have to be mindful of anything that doesn't match that frequency anymore. Those movies, those TV shows, those things we listen to, those things we watch, if they have a low frequency attached to them, they're also going to affect your frequency, right? That means we've gotta clear that stuff away, we've gotta be mindful of that. Those people in your life that complain a lot, that talk about their lives in a negative way, you gotta clear that out, because that's gonna influence you as well. You've gotta be real with yourself, now about what you've got to prioritize and what you've got to simplify. Time to let go. Look at her, look at her little note here, right? Let go. I think it says time to, oh, to let go, it says, to let go. So, right? So it's time. It's time to let go and it's time for you to reconnect back to your truth. Reconnect back to your ancestors, reconnect back to your spirit guides, reconnect back to your galactic family, right? We're all, we're all, we're all a star seed from somewhere, right? Check that out. Check into that, right? We're were created from something, right? So at the end of the day, it might be a, uh, more useful for you right now to reconnect back to your truth so that you can get the results you want in this game of life. And that means you're gonna wanna disconnect from the world around you and you're gonna wanna reconnect to your inner world because it's your inner knowing anyway that's gonna guide you forward, you know what I mean? So what happens is the more stuff you start to clear away out of your life that doesn't serve you, right? Thoughts, extra attention to food or like this or the next thing or what this famous person's doing or this person said at your work. Pfft. Does that affect your life? Does that help you make money? Does that help you get to the top? No. As a matter of fact, it's taking you out. What your, what your kids are complaining about, what your spouse is complaining about, you know what that does? That messes with your psyche because it's distractions, it's distractions, it's distractions. And then you feel that energy and you react with them. Ah, oh, yeah. And then you just take that energy with you, disconnect further from your whole self, your higher self. It's just it's a stupid game, right? That we all play with ourselves. So at the end of the day, connect to yourself, connect to your higher self, connect to spirit. Be generous of spirit. This is the energy you want to connect to so that, so that your ascension journey can be lived in a much more understood way because you're gonna be going and taken through a lot of divine detours, a lot of impulses. These impulses, okay, are gonna guide you through your journey because your impulses lead you through different experiences that allow you to better understand yourself, better understand what your truth is, and better allow you to make accurate decisions that come from a place of will. Because if we don't have a will to do something, we're, we're gonna lose ourselves. That's why just clearing up the distractions right now help us have more power to dedicate towards that journey and listening and tuning into our impulse. Right now in the comments below, write this down. I am rich and confident. I am rich and confident. I am rich and confident. Write this down. Your words have power. And when you write things down of what you inspire or aspire or already am to have and understand, then that is what draws into your life. But if we say things that take away from us, they, right, we're reacting to our lives and reacting from our words, then we're going to be influencing ourselves in the wrong way. Remember, you're not your thoughts and your belief system is just a thought you've continued to think. 
So step away from the past. Step away from that nostalgic thinking. Step away from the connection you have to whatever's happened. You've got to let all of that go. And it's time for you to step into the here and the now. Because the here and the now is where all the good stuff is. And you're being guided into a life of pure freedom. Of the choice to live your life independently. Whatever that means for you. Maybe that means making so much money passively that you barely even work three hours a day. Maybe that means being able to spend more time with your family. Maybe that means connecting to a soul family or building a community where you have like-minded individuals where you all get along and are just in these high vibes all day. Whatever that is for you, it's coming your way. It's definitely headed your way. Look at this with the Fool card, right? New beginnings of love. So all you got to do right now is tune into your divine feminine intuitive. Okay, so our div there's divine feminine energy and there's divine masculine energy to connect to the divine feminine of creativity, of, of inspiration, of intuition, of just the unknown understanding, our inner voice. That means your physical body has to be in a state of ease. We are not in a state of ease when we are carting around emotional trauma from the past by hanging on to it, focusing on it. We're not in a state of ease when we're focusing on problems or other people's problems or talking about problems. We're not in a state of ease when we're watching, uh, you know, crap stuff that makes us feel bad about ourselves and we subconsciously don't even recognize it because we're so used to watching it. We just feel bad, right? We have to be very much self-aware. So in order for you to connect to your divine feminine, now is the time. Connect to your beautiful intuition. Connect to your inner knowing so you can focus all of your energy into what it is that you know you want to do by following that impulse because you actually have the energy to do so. That's the thing. You'll have the energy to do so when you clear up your life and simplify. Fellow empaths, celery juice. Okay. Why? Because it's simplification. I no longer think about food anymore. It's no longer even a thought in my mind. I drink celery juice, no doubt the entire day because it makes me feel grounded. I get natural salts from the minerals. Now this is not pushing you to do that whatsoever. This is more an example of what simplification looks like. I have decluttered my, uh, my relationships. I no longer, I don't have, uh, you know, everyday relationships that I speak to. It's me, it's my husband, and that's it. Because if I had other relationships, well, I'd be giving my energy to them, right? I would be giving my focus to them. And I don't have time for that right now. I have time. I only have time for uh, the journey that I'm on and what's being guided and, and given to me. And, and I'm being guided by spirit. And that's what, that's what true purpose is, is going through that journey and, of realization. And it was a step-by-step -step process because for a, a while there, I had lots of people in my life. I had family, I had friends, I had uh, food. I had, uh, you know, lots of different things. And at the end of the day, that wasn't serving me. I kept falling off my path. I kept getting distracted, right? Something always distracted me from just being who I am, you see? So we can see here you're in that place in your life where you're, you're okay, what's got to stay and what's got to go? Well, beautiful soul, relate this to the outcome that you want for your life. And then you just got to prioritize, right? Balance means prioritizing. Prioritizing how you, the actions you need to take to be the most connected to yourself to be your best. There was a time where I had to prioritize myself, meaning I've set my alarm really, really early. So I had about four hours in the morning time to connect to who I really was in my own energy before the rest of the house woke up. I had dogs, I had a busy husband, I had to take care of a lot of different things. I needed time to myself and I needed to prioritize prioritize that con to connect to my inner voice. And I could only do that by myself and my own energy. And most of us, that's the only opportunity to do so, right? If you don't connect to that voice on your journey, you're going to get bombarded by the lower frequencies and you're going to feel really lack. You're going to feel really limited in your thinking, which is going to create this attachment. And then you're going to take on more burden than necessary, which is going to lead you feeling distracted and farther away from meeting your goals. You've got to prioritize what is most important for you at this time and let go of anything that doesn't serve you on that journey. You got to be real with yourself on that one. Cause sometimes we do got to cut the cords of friendships. We do got to cut the cords of, um, uh, actually, that we're taking. We got to cut the cords of, you know, uh, you know, lifestyle choices that we're making, but that decision has to come from a, a higher place. That decision has to come from a deeper why. And that's what we want you to connect to is that deeper why. So it gives you the, the insights and the will to make those choices that feel challenging for us. Simple choice, challenging emotionally. <clears throat> now, your unicorn message for you today is be a beacon, be an inspiration, light the way for others. Oh, we love this. This is the card of the way shower for you are a beacon, a light who illuminates the path for others and gives them hope. As a spiritual flame, you hold within your energy fields, the keys and codes of the knowledge, information, and wisdom that you have earned on your soul journey. Without you being consciously aware of it, your aura reaches out and awakens gifts, qualities, and hidden possibilities in those around you. 
When your unicorn illuminates your aura, you, your light sparkles and your presence alone can lift people energetically and make them feel better. You will find many are drawn to you. You don't have to do anything. Just be yourself for you are already helping many to awake up spiritually. This is an important task and your guidance is to shine your light more strongly. To do so, make sure you are properly grounded, be positive, smile and be happy. Ask Archangel Gabriel to pour shimmering diamond light into you and your unicorn according to fill your aura with Christ light, then radiate this divine light. Your affirmation for this card is I am a beacon of light. You could also write this in the comments below, right? I am rich and confident. I am a beacon of light. Oh, that is, that is straight power right there. Cause that is the, that is the gosh darn truth of it really though. So at the end of the day, shine your light and you will inspire others. But to live your highest light, that means you got to detach from those things that take from you, that take from you, that take from you. Your angel message for today is change in direction. See this, right? This is this divine detour we were talking about, the impulse. So the changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are now protect, you are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to be to the happy outcome you desire, right? Trust in your impulse, right? Let go of the world around you, connect to your inner world and allow the impulses of the present to guide you into your abundant desires. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was like, and subscribe, we truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining baby.